Today we're going to build a folding boot drying rack. This fun project can be done in a few hours. Feel free to download the free 3D solid models from our website and let's get building. The materials for this project can be readily purchased at any Home Depot or Lowe's and uh, I chose poplar uh, but you can of course choose, uh, choose oak or pine per your, your preference. Uh, I know I'm going to stain this and put a coat of polyurethane over it uh, so I went ahead and, and chose poplar and uh, let's get started. First thing you want to do is uh, make your measurements for your cuts uh, with this piece. It's a 24 inches so it's going to be uh, cut at 12 inches. I'm going to true up the edges of these dowels and the chop saw before I take my measurements just to clean them up a little bit and to give a nice 90 degree uh, edge to measure from. I've now laid out all of the holes for the dowels. We're going to drill those next, but before I want to break all the sharp edges on this and then go over and put a bevel on the top of this piece. So we've set up the router with a 45 degree bevel. We're going to put an eighth of an inch bevel all the way around here. And I think that'll look nice with the dowels placed in here. We have loaded a Forrester bit into the drill press and we have set the depth within a half an inch of the bottom so it stops so we won't go through the bottom of our part. So what we're going to do is we're going to bore out the holes that we've already marked uh, holding it firmly and that should give us a nice clean hole to glue our dowels in. Alright, well we've got most of the pieces uh, cut to length, we've got the holes drilled, everything uh, sanded down slightly. Now what we're going to do is drill the holes for these pieces and uh, countersink it uh, for the wood screws. And what we'll do is we'll stain it and polyurethane it and uh, the project will be good to go. Alright, well what we're going to do now is drill, pre-drill the holes for the top beam. We've already drilled the clearance holes on the bottom plate and uh, this is just so we will split this piece of uh, poplar as you put in the wood screw later on. Uh, here's a quick tip. On your drill bit go ahead and put a piece of masking tape so you know how far to go. That way you don't get too far and, and uh, drill totally through. For the assembly of the dowels into that top beam. You want to go ahead and pre-assemble everything. What I found is the dowels are coming in a little oversized, so you're going to have to sand these down. You don't want to force anything because you actually might split the piece of poplar here. So go ahead and sand it down so it's a, a snug but firm fit. That way you leave enough room for some glue also. That's a good fit right there. That one's going to get sanded some more.
You're going to want to apply a very small amount of glue to this because there's actually not that much space for glue in this joint. You do want 100% coating of that glue, but it will ease on out. So there we go. There's our first glue joint. I like to twist it in there and get it. And what's going to happen is that wood is going to swell and the two will become one. <laughs> so there we have it. We have assembled all of the dowels and we're going to let that glue uh, dry up a little bit. But uh, what we're going to do is actually go and, uh, and stain all these pieces and polyurethane them before we assemble them. I've chosen a, uh, a gun stock cabot stain for, uh, for this poplar. Uh, looks like it's going to turn out well. A little sample actually has a, almost looks like oak after, uh, after you stain it. It will have a, sh a slight semi-gloss after the polyurethane also. So we've let the stain sit on here for about five minutes and I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. We applied three coats of satin polyurethane finish to hold up under the wet conditions. Project turned out very nice, folds up nice and flat to slide into a closet or underneath the bed. We appreciate you watching. We look forward to working with you on the next project here at Woodworks.